Tasks are the activities that timekeepers perform for clients. They are the individual events that make up your workday or parts of a particular job. You can usually measure tasks in hours and minutes. This training video will show you the basics of adding a new task to the database. This task will be named Corporate Meeting. From the navigator, switch to the Manage Names topic and then click New Task. In Sage Time Slips, you can use two nicknames to identify tasks throughout the application. You can use either nickname on data entry and report screens. In this example, we will use Meeting as the primary nickname. In this example, we will use a task code T144 for the secondary nickname. Click Apply Defaults to accept the nicknames and view the other task fields. You can use the task's full name on bills and reports. In this example, we'll use Corporate Meeting. Categories allow you to group specific tasks and expenses on bills and reports. We will not use a category in this example. You can specify up to 20 billing rates for each task. If you typically bill by another rate structure, like timekeeper rates, you may not want to add task rates. The rate type determines how Sage Time Slips calculates charges for this task. For hourly, the slip value is calculated by multiplying the billing rate by the time spent. For flat, the slip value equals the billing rate regardless of the time spent. When you select this task on a slip, Sage Time Slips automatically applies the associated slip making defaults to the slip. You can change these settings on the slip as needed. You can specify the time spent for slips that use this task. In this example, the time spent for new slips that use meeting will be one hour. You can specify the estimated time on new slips that use this task. In this example, we will not use estimated time for meetings. You can specify the bill status for slips using this task. This determines if you will charge a client for this work. Billable slips can appear on bills and be charged to the client. Slips marked Do Not Bill will not appear on bills, but can be useful when tracking some work internally. Slips marked No Charge can appear on bills, but will not affect the bill's total. Slips marked Override can appear on bills, but will be charged outside of any current billing arrangement set up for the client. You can specify the hold status for slips using this task. Slips using hold will not appear on a bill until you remove the hold status. You can specify a description for new slips that use this task. In this example, we will use meeting with client for the default description. The billing page contains options for taxes and markups. We will not use these options in this example. When you are finished entering task fields, click Save to save the new task. 